Eagles Pep Band, and you're watching CITV. Welcome to Colonial Gym for the CITV broadcast of the Plymouth White Marsh Colonials and the Upper Moreland Golden Bears men's varsity basketball matchup. My name is Stephen O'Malley and I'm alongside Lenny Brenner for this Friday night matchup. Lenny, this is a big game for the Colonials. It's their third home game, Friday home game in a row. What are their keys to the game today? I have three keys that I'm going to tell you today. I'm going to start off with the first one, which is spacing, uh, running their offense and defense. They really need to make sure they're spaced out on the court well. They need to rebound, get some rebounds so they can't get some, uh, the other team can get offensive rebounds and put them back in. And they really need to, com to communicate so they're not turning the ball over a lot. Starters for the Colonials are the Williams twins, Amina Namad, Matt Walker, Naheem McLeod, Cheo Houston. Starters for the Golden Bears are Casey Decker, Damian Washington, Ryan Cole, Shane Stone, and Jake Villanueva. Naheem for the tap. It's won by McLeod. Bringing the ball up is number 23, Amin Williams. Gets it to Naheem. Swings to Amin. No, Amin no. looking inside to Naheem. Walker. Naheem being guarded by a very big player, number 44, Jake Villanueva. Blocked by 33. I just wanted to say, I think Naheem needs to get the ball in the post a lot more. I don't think they've really given it to him a lot this season. And that they, he's uh, seven foot one, and he really needs to get it on the post so he can take advantage of that height. Ball being swung across the top. Washington to Stone, rebounded by McLeod. Here come the Colonials. Oh, McLeod God. almost throws it out of bounds. Back to Ahmad Williams. He needs to be, needs to be more careful on those passes. Williams with the ball at the top. Swings to Walker. Walker to Houston. Houston back to Ahmad. Screened by McLeod. Pulls up. Two is good. That was a good shot attempt. Also, no one behind you, Walker. His first ah, basket come of the on game. Me. Swung to Villanueva. Villanueva air balls his first shot attempt. Here come the Colonials. Williams to Houston. Houston looking for McLeod. McLeod back to basket. Kicks it out to Good Houston. Kick out. One more, one more, one more. Back to Houston. Cut through. To Amin through. Williams into Naheem. Naheem dribbling the ball. Post hook. Good shot. Foul. Good way to draw the foul. Foul is on number 44, Jake Villanueva. His first, team's first. I like how they're giving the ball to Naheem a lot early in the game. And the zones or whatever defense they're playing is going to collapse and then they can kick it out or take it so. First free throw by McLeod is up and it's no good. McLeod not good from the free throw line this year. He's looking at about 57% so far. He's got to work on that aspect of his game. Second free throw. He's no good as well. Rebounded by Villanueva. Bringing the ball up is number 12, Ryan Cole, guarded closely by Amin Williams. It's Washington with the ball back to Cole. Pick set by Villanueva. Broken off. Switched by the Colonials. Foul on number 23, Amin Williams. His first, team's first. Defense, both teams to make sure they slide their feet and don't play with their hands. Inbounding the ball is number 10, Damian Washington, guarded by Matt Walker. Inbounded to Cole. Cole looks inside. That's a walk! That was Defense played by McLeod, rebounded by Villanueva. Villanueva pressed, gives it to Shane Stone, reset by the Golden Bears. Villanueva with the ball up top, down to Stone. Stone guarded very closely. Pickpocketed by Ahmad Williams. Good defense by the Colonials. Walker on the break, finishes his layup for two. Something I noticed is Matt Walker always finishes on those layups. Last game he had two or three of them. He's doing really well with those finishes. 
defense to offense real quick for the Colonials on that possession. Oh. Coming across, almost stolen. Is stolen by Amin Williams. Out of bounds. I mean, slips on the floor. It'll be Golden Bears ball after some nice Colonials defense. Did and a good that'll job. be right in front of the Colonial bench. Washington inbounds it. Gets it into Villanueva. Villanueva dribbles, traps himself onto the basket. Back out to Washington. Washington looks back inside. A layup. Foul by Naheem McLeod. Naheem's first, team's second. Shooting two is 44 Villanueva. Uh, Coach Sanofrio does not agree with that call. First free throw is good by Villanueva. I don't think that was a foul there on Naheem. I think he had his hands straight either. up. That's I think what they Naheem, teach you, right? Yeah, Naheem just needs to continue to keep his hands up, and I don't think they're going to call a foul on next time. Uh, they got to watch that one. His hands were straight up. They did call the foul. Villanueva makes both on the free throws. McLeod with the ball at top. To Williams, to Williams, to Matt Set Walker. It, Set it. I mean, pulls up for three. Oh, oh in, in and, and out. out. Bringing the ball up is Washington. Swings it to Cole. Cole to Villanueva. Villanueva top of the... Cheo gets blown by by Stone in the corner to Cole. Cole looks back for Stone. Stolen by Amin Williams, and it'll be... That's Golden Bears ball off of Amin Williams' knee. Really another good, another really good defensive play by Amin. Inbounding will be number two, Casey Decker, guarded closely by Ahmad Williams. Going away, he gets himself free, but they look and they kick it out to Shane Stone. Stone with the ball. Switches to Cole. Cole driving on Williams. Tipped by Naheem, ball. rebounded by Villanueva for a put back two. Bringing it up now is Amin Williams. Amin Williams looks for his brother Ahmad, drives to the basket, misses layup, gets his own rebound. Mon, Mon, he sets. Mon, Good rebound, like Mon. I said, they need to keep focusing on their rebounds. Relax, Ahmad Williams with the ball at the top. Matt, get the ball, Matt. Pick by McLeod, roll by McLeod. Floater's good by Naheem. Good finish by Naheem. Pick and roll by the Colonials on that possession. It's a man-to-man -man press for the Colonials right now. Washington trapped in the corner. Stolen by Ahmad Williams, here they come. Ahmad drives to Houston for two. Good dish. On that man trap, they're trapping really well, and I think they need to keep it up. They're gonna get some good steals. Defense to offense again for the Colonials. Colonials running their hurricane press. Worked on that last possession, blowing by his Cole to the rack. Blocked by Naheem McLeod. Losing the ball is Amin Williams, and throwing it out of bounds is Naheem oh, McLeod. I think he should have been a little more patient with that pass. Checking into the game, number 23, Brett Brosman. Exiting the game, number two. Triple, triple. Casey Decker. Triple. Score is eight to four. Colonial with uh, three minutes and 20 seconds left in the game. Colonials lead by four. Why? Pass inside to Ahmad Williams. Ahmad fades away. Shot is no good. Not moving on offense. I think they need to swing the ball around more on offense to be a little more peaceful with their shot attempts. Hurricane, invite it, Matt. Invite, Colonials Hurricane. pressing. Me. Amin trapping Cole. 10 seconds. Another good defensive possession. They're doing a really good job trapping and being really aggressive on their uh, traps and defense so far in this Time game. Timeout, Coach D'Onofrio. All right, Lenny, what have they been doing so far that has worked in the first quarter? Well, they're doing a really, really nice job of on their press, their trapping. They're being really aggressive going for steals and they're getting a lot of rebounds, which is one of the key things I said, and that's contributing to their eight to four lead, and I think if they keep doing this, they're gonna score more points, and I think the team, other team is having a really hard time breaking this press, and that is why they had to call the timeout. They're really going defense to offense right away. They come out and they press, and they start 
you know, they start scoring early off of defensive possessions. That leads to success, success later in the game when your defense is creating your offense. On offense, they have been a little stale. They've been pulling up and settling yes. for shots. They do have to work the ball yeah. around more, I right? Think, yeah, I think they need to, like I said, they need to communicate more and they need to work around uh, work around the top, feed it into Naheem uh, down low, and he can kick it out or take it himself, and that's going to work really well for the Colonials. So in other words, they shouldn't be forcing it as much as they are right now. Yes. Inbounding the ball is Matt Walker into Amin Williams with just under three minutes to go in the game. Houston with the ball at the top to Ahmad Williams to his brother Amin, to Matt Walker at the top for three. Rebounded by Shane Stone, no good on three point attempt by Matt Walker. Immediately pressing right out of the timeout, which is a good sign for the Clones because it has worked. It is. They're being really aggressive and it's working really well. Villanueva passes to uh, Brosman, to Cole, Stone at the top, guarded closely by Houston, now doubled by Naheem and Houston, foul. Going up, shooting for two. I don't think he hit him there. I don't know why that was a foul called, but if he s s slapped down. That foul is on Cheo Houston, his first, team's third. Shooting two is Stone, makes his first free throw. Something else I just wanted to say is even though Matt Walker missed that three, he's coming off a game where he made a lot of threes, and I think he needs to keep shooting them so he can get his confidence started, and then he's just gonna start shooting really well. Also in the attendance of that game was uh, Temple head coach Fran Dumpy. I think he liked what he saw, because Temple's corner have. three shooting has been pretty poor. Yes, okay, it has, right? and I think Matt Walker would help him out a lot. Hopefully he can get an offer. Walker for three, it's good! As we're talking about him, there he is. Speaking of the devil, Matt Walker from downtown. That puts the Colonials up 11 to six with just under two minutes to go. Foul committed by 24, Cheo Houston, his second, team's fourth. Looks like he may have tripped him up on that play. I think that was good aggressive defense and I think they just got caught on the tank around the, to their feet and they just caught on Cheo unfortunately with the foul. Amin playing closely, Ahmad switches, it's stolen by McLeod. Foul, called on number 23, Brett Brosman. I really like this aggressive defense the Colonials are playing, it's working really well for them thus far in the game. I tell you, if Naheem could dribble, you'd probably see him throwing that one down, but he lacks the dribbling skill. It's not what, it's not his forte. When you're 7-1, it's pretty hard to dribble. Yeah, that was still a really good steal by Naheem, and this good leads to the Colonials' possession here. Swings to Matt Walker, three ball. Off the mark, rebounded by all the Colonials on that play. And there's our rebounds like we were talking about. They need to continue to get them. Ahmad Williams. Williams looks to pull up. Walker. Amin drives to the hole. Amin, why? Tipped by number 44, Jake Villanueva. Stays with the Colonials. Just, just over a minute to go. From yesterday. Inbounding the ball Let's is Matt here, Walker, man. guarded closely Yo. by Damian Washington. OKC, my spread wide. OKC, that's probably named after the Thunder, yeah, I would assume. It looks like it's an ISO play to get somebody open. Swinging the ball is the Colonials. Williams drives to the hoop, takes it. Blocked, rebounded by Matt Walker. Back to Amin. Amin for two. Rebounded by Brosman, here come the Golden Bears. I think they need to be a little more patient with those shots, like we were saying. That might have been the design play, but I think they need to be a little more patient and they can get some better shots. Stone shots. driving on McLeod, it's good! At Stone's fourth point of the game, Colonials lead 11 to eight. Williams bringing the ball up, 40 seconds remain in this game. Ahmad Williams with the ball, picks up by McLeod, Ahmad for two, it's good. His foot was on the line. Quickly, here come the Golden Bears. Cole, Villanueva, corner, Brosman. Pump fake, Villanueva, two, good. There the Golden Bears did an excellent job of swinging the ball, not forcing the shot attempt. Amin looking with eight seconds left. Five, five seconds remain, Amin drives. Puts it up, rebound, kept the basket and one. Great shot attempt with a couple seconds left in the game. 
Amin puts the Colonials up 15 to 10, can extend the lead with an old fashioned three point play to 16. Two seconds remain in this game. Checking into the game, number five, Kareem Green for Cheo Houston. Amin has the chance to put the Colonials up by six and convert a three point play. 33, Free throws up, and it's good. Two seconds remain. Time has ran out, that'll be the end of the first quarter. Colonials lead 16 to 10. Lenny, that first quarter was a bit of an exciting start. Got slow, and then picked it up again. What did the Colonials need to do to further improve in the rest of the game? Well, I noticed in the middle of the quarter, they started, started forcing some shot attempts. They weren't really swinging the ball around. They were trying to shoot some threes. They were trying to take some layups that were contested that they could have kicked out for some open shots. And I think at the end of the quarter, they started swinging the ball around, kicking it into Naheem, taking better layup attempts, and that's leading to their uh, six-point lead now. And also, their rebounding was extremely well. They got a lot of offensive rebounds, and I don't think they gave up any off, uh, offensive rebounds on the other side of the floor. They have solidly rebound, as you said, in the beginning of the game. That was one of your keys. They have done that. The spacing, are they spacing enough? It, it looks like they're a little cluttered on uh, offense. Yeah, I noticed that. In the middle, around the foul line on offense, I noticed Matt Walker and someone that's, if he's someone setting a pick, it's either a mean sometimes or whoever's setting the pick around there. They Usually kinda, Naheem at the top seems to clutter, you yeah. know, all seven foot one of them takes up yeah. a lot of space. And I think if they communicate better and spread it out, the play will work more efficiently and then they'll have an open shot and that'll lead to the better shot attempts they need to take. It'll be Golden Bears ball to start the second quarter. Again, Colonials lead 16 to 10. Inbounding the ball is Washington. Breeden remains in the game for Cheo Houston. Travel by number 13, Anthony Green. He went the wrong way there. Green has checked in and checked out immediately. Uh, Casey Decker returns after three seconds. Uh, what a start for uh, the Golden Bears. a good Bears way to start play. after uh, the Golden Bears tried to go the wrong way. It's Breeden. Matt Walker looking for Walker, three. Walker, shoot it! Given to Naheem. Naheem backing down his man. Out to Walker. Walker fires for two. No good. This guy, man. Looks like it's a foul called on Naheem. That was not a foul on Naheem, I don't think, but I think he needed to try and grab the ball. And yeah, it is a foul. There. Holding on Naheem McLeod. His second, team's fifth. I think they need to watch out so they don't get into the one and one early into the second uh, quarter. Cole, Decker, Brosnan three. It's good. They're, they're really patient there also, and they didn't force that three-pointer. And I think if the Colonials start doing that and are forcing up some shots, then they're going to get some open shots like the Golden Bears just did, and then they're start, going to start scoring. Timeout Colonials, full timeout. Obviously, Coach Sinoprio did not like that last defensive possession. They, had, they spaced the floor is what they did. They had three guards out on the court, and they kicked them in the corner for three. I mean, that's obviously what D'Onofrio called timeout for. Yeah, I don't think they really trapped them. They're not really looking as aggressive and as fired up right now as they were in the beginning of the game. I think they need to get that energy back and start really trapping hard and playing that hard defense they were doing in the beginning of the game. As the lead's only cut down to three now for the Colonials. It'll be Colonials ball coming out of the timeout. Um, they just gave up the ball on a foul, and then they lost it for a three at the, uh, the other end. That's why D'Onofrio called a full timeout. Uh, same five are on the court as started the second quarter. Ishorn will be checking into the game with the next stoppage of play. The ball is brought up by Amin Williams. Williams inside to McLeod. McLeod holding it up. Come Breeden has the ball. To Amin Williams, Amin drives to the basket, fade away, two, no good. They, they didn't really space it that well there, and that was kind of a Pull up shot three, attack. no good, rebounded by Matt Walker. Go, 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 go. Ahmad Williams pushing the floor to Kareem Breeden, Walker, Breeden, no, no. Breeden looking for Ahmad, finds him. Ahmad pulls up for three. Short. No good. Rebounded by Green. Green. Hustled by Kareem as he ties it up. 
Now, I think that those shot attempts, they weren't the best, but I like how the Twins are being aggressive on the offensive end and not really waiting for something to happen to turn and make it happen themselves. Checking into the game for the Colonials, number zero, Ishhorn, exiting the game, number 10, Naheem McLeod. Jump ball, Colonials retain possession. Ishhorn certainly brings a, a flair to the Colonials lineup. Yes, he does. All the way back to Breeden. Matt, get the ball, Matt. Horn posting triple. up. Triple, Matt, triple. Williams with the ball. Matt Walker has the ball top of the three-point line. Swings to Amin, over to Breeden. Walker looking to get open to three. Breeden drives. Resets. Horn with the ball. Horn kicks to Breeden. Breeden drives. Open is Kareem. Kareem fires. Two points. Man, 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 get up. Man, go. Go. Read the man. Good shot attempt by Kareem there as they got their uh, the defensive player on the Golden Bears the ball. Kick the ball by Matt Walker. It'll be Golden Bear ball on the sideline. Now when they're pressing here, they really need to make sure they're aggressive and trapped like they were last time. Inbounded to Cole. Cole guarded by Amin Williams. Tight defense, slipping through his stone. Corner, back to Washington. Washington pulls up, tough shot. Rebounded by Stone. Ball's on the floor. Hook shot by Stone is good. The Colonials really need to make sure they're getting those defensive rebounds and not allowing the Golden Bears to get those offensive rebounds. Colonials lead 18-15 with five minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Ahmad to, Amin to Ahmad. Ahmad drives to the basket for two. Great it's good. Move by Ahmad. That's a really good move. That'll be tip ball out, out on the Colonials. It'll stay with the Upper Moreland Golden Bears. Inbounding the ball is Damian Washington. Washington gets it into Cole. Cole calls a play. Looks to drive by Amin. Amin gets over half court. Gets by Amin. Out of bounds, last touch by Ish Horn. Good defensive play by Ish as he deflected it out of bounds and that led to not a score by the Golden Bears. Inbounding the ball is Damian Washington, covered close by Breeden. Cole gets free, has the ball top of the three point line. Good job, me. Amin Williams playing solid defense. Inside to Stone. Stone lost it. Ahmad has the ball to Breeden out of bounds, turned over by Ahmad Williams. I think that was good communication there as Kareem was still running, and that was a good idea there. It was a good idea, miscommunication on where the ball should be. Good idea by the Colonials. They lead 20 to 15. Bringing the ball up is Cole. Cole guarded closely by Amin Williams. Cole drives. Trapped by Amin. Really good floor, defense. Recovered by Stone. Stone drives to the basket, spins. Good defense by Matt Walker. That's a foul on number 33, Shane Stone. That was not a good foul on Stone. I don't think he should have taken that. I think he should have just ran back on defense and tried to take a uh, defensive stop there. Timeout, Upper Moreland. Why do you think Upper Moreland called that timeout? Is it offense or defense? I think. Uh, I don't think they're happy with their offense. I think I don't think he liked that four shot that just happened right there, and I don't really think that he likes the way that they're playing. They were starting to take some really good shot attempts, but now they're just kind of forcing them. In the beginning of the quarter, they were just getting really good shot attempts. They're swinging it around, getting an open shot, but they're not really attacking the basket. They're just shooting threes, and I think he really wants to make sure they're attacking the basket as those threes weren't really falling. It'll be golden. Uh, excuse me. It'll be colonial possession after the stone foul coming out of the timeout. Uh, there's four minutes and 35 seconds remaining in the first half. Colonials lead 20 to 15. Do you think the lead should be any bigger right now, based off the way the Colonials are playing right now? Naheem, uh, he's good on the bench for right now. He, he could be a good second half presence, but we haven't seen Ish Horn do anything wrong for him to come out. So. We'll see how the rest of the, there's still a lot of time left in this first half for anything to happen. Ami Williams with the ball, gets it to Matt Walker. Back to Walker, Walker doubled to Ishhorn, drives down the middle to Ahmad. Staggers, Matt, staggers, Matt! Matt and Kareem, staggers! Good skip pass. 
Walker Stop with the ball. Greedon with the ball. Picked by Walker. There it is. Walker for three. It's good. Really well executed play. The spacing was perfect, and I like how he popped back out after that pick. That's Walker on the three, his second of the game. Cole bringing the ball up for the Golden Bears. To Stone. To Brosson. Inside to Decker, back to Horn. Stone, dribbles, drives, lays it. Rebounded by Williams. That was a shot attempt that did not need to be taken. To the corner, Ahmad. Ish Horn recovers to Amin for three. It's good! Good recovery by the Colonials. Amin Williams from downtown, his ninth point of the game. Cole. With the Golden Bears really well. trading, trailing by 11 to the corner to Brosman for three. It's good. His second of the game. I think that might have been why the coach called the timeout to make sure their spacing was right so they got that open shot. They got him in the corner and he hits two of his last three from there. Williams with the ball. Kicks it to Horn. Horn from downtown. Not a good shot selection there by the Colonials. Didn't no. even hit the rim. I think he could have been more patient with that and maybe gotten it back for an easier shot. They were really feeling it. Bringing the ball up is Cole. Cole with a tough layup. Oh, what a finish by Cole. Good finish. I think that was pretty good defense. I don't think they could have really done anything about that. Amin drives. Kareem. Ish drives to the basket. Traveling violation on Ish Horn. Checking into the game, number 31, Jason Paul. Exiting the game, number zero, Ish Horn. Come on, you're all right, you're all right, come on. Part one, or player one of the dynamic duo Jason Paul is in, Danny Cooper still remains on the bench. Yes, he does. Let's see what Jason can bring for the Colonials in this next two minutes or ho however long he is in the I game. I think they need some of his good shooting and some of his energy on defense, and they're going to really take a bigger lead in this game. Um, an inadvertent whistle on that play. I, I think the ref heard timeout. I, I, I don't know what happened there, but... I don't know why the ref I don't know the why the ref blew the whistle. He appeared to be pretty angry after he blew it, so I don't really know what on. Yeah, I'm pretty confused. We'll, we'll let the viewers decide what happened there. Um, bringing the ball up is Cole. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. Get up! Cole covered by Williams. He just can't get by it. He just can't get by it. Backdoor. Stone fumbles the ball. Stone needs to catch those balls. Um... It'll be inbounded by Matt Walker to Amin Williams. Always. Go! Send Jason through! Send Jason through! Williams. They're going to look for Paul on this play. Kareem. Shout out to Matt. Throws it away. Good defense, though. Come on, Kareem. Rosman from way downtown. Bad shot that selection. That did not need to be taken. I think they could have, as I keep saying, swing it around. I don't really think the Golden Bears are taking good shots right now. Another bad shot by the Colonials. Out comes Stone, chasing his pole. Foul. All right, I don't, I don't mind that foul. I think that was a pretty good foul. Pre prevented the two points, and he could miss both these free throws for all we know. Another one foul away from the one and one. There's only a minute left and then reset. So. Stone's first free throw is good. He's got seven. Second free throw. I like the stagger. It's good. Amin Williams will bring the ball up with just over a minute to go left in this first half. Colonials lead 26-22. Amin drives to the basket. Offensive foul. Taking the charge is Ryan Cole. Foul on number 23, Amin Williams. Checking into the game, number 11, Danny Cooper. On the floor with Jason Paul, creating that iconic dynamic duo from Lafayette Hill. Cole with the ball. 
guarded closely by Cooper. They're looking to get a little bit of last minute energy from Cooper and Paul. Cooper is just locking him down on D right Cooper locks now. down Cole, swings to Stone. Stone dribbling the ball up top, guarded closely by Matt Walker. Stone to Decker, trapped. Throws the ball, back to Decker. Out They're three for Brosnan really from three. No good, rebounded by Cooper. They're playing some really good defense there, really aggressive, really sharp. Cooper has the ball up top, right in front of half court with 17 two, seconds remaining. Two, two. There's 10 seconds remaining in this first half. Cooper looking to do something, swings it to Jason, to Ahmad, Ahmad for three, no good. At the end of the miscommunication there. Miscommunication at the end of the play. At the end of the first half, Colonials lead 26-22. Not a good way to end the half. I think that there was a little uh, miscommunication there and that they should have been making sure that the spacing was right and it took a little too long for them to do that. Therefore, they had to force a shot attempt up at the end. And if they didn't have to force that shot attempt and they communicated better, I really think that they could have gotten a better shot attempt and they wouldn't have had to rush it as much. Now, someone else that I think is playing really well is Amin Williams. Amin is playing really well. And he's taken a couple not so good shots, but he has a really a couple really good plays, and he's really the foundation of the offense right now, as well as Naheem McLeod, who they keep kicking the ball into, and they keep just feeding the offense to him. And I think when he checks back in in the second half, it's going to be really good for the Colonials. Yeah, the Colonials definitely need to improve on their uh, their their shooting in the first half. They also need to, as you said, your keys to the game have actually been spot on. They've rebounded, they've, they haven't spaced, and they haven't communicated. So we'll see how that goes in the second half. And I really think these keys are the reason why they're not winning by more than four points. I think they could be up by a lot right now. We will be right back after this break. back. The Colonials lead 26-22 after a so-so first half. What do you think in the second half they need to improve on? They really need to work on their spacing on the court and their communication uh, as they were taking, as they were taking some bad shots. And at the end of the half, they had a bad drive where they didn't communicate and they had to force up a three at the end. And that was not a good way to end the half. Uh, it'll be Golden Bears ball to start the third quarter. In the backcourt is Ryan Cole with Damian Washington, uh, Shane Stone, Villanueva. Shane Stone takes it to the rack. Does not finish, rebounded by Matt Walker. And that Taylor Decker. It's the starting five for both teams that came back out. Amin Williams with the ball to Matt Walker. Matt Walker, excuse me. To Walker again for three. Off the mark, rebounded by Cole, last touch by Amin Williams. Walker's a really good three-point shooter, but I think if they just swung it around a tiny bit more, he would have gotten a better shot, but that's not the worst shot attempt, but I think they should just start moving it around a little more. Inbounding the ball is Washington. Caught by Stone. Stone takes it up. Gets it to Washington. Washington drives. To the hole for two. That was a really good finish. Damian Washington's first basket of the game. Ahmad Williams with the ball. To Amin Williams. Inside to McLeod. McLeod throws it off of Amin's knee. Turning it over is the Colonials. That three ball's good! That pass by Naheem was kind of forced, but I like the idea to get hit the cutter that was cutting through. I just think that was a little too low replaced. It's probably hard to just... Damien right Washington from downtown, inside to McLeod. Out to Houston. Houston, floater, no good. Now standing is the student section. It only took them a first half to get off on their feet. 
Covered closely is Cole by Williams. Cole to Villanueva. Villanueva drives, kicks it to Stone. Stone drives as well. Here comes Villanueva out to Decker. Decker, Washington. Washington drives, floater no good, rebounded by Ahmad Williams. To Amin, Amin drives, reverse layup is good. Good finishing, really nice outlet pass to give the Colonials a score. His ninth, and it's Stone at the other end with a layup. Another really nice pass hit the cutter by the Golden Bears this time though. Colonials trail 28-29 with just over five minutes, 30 seconds in this third quarter. It's Matt Walker with the ball. Amin with the ball. Cheo back to Matt Walker. Ahmad inside to Naheem. Naheem dribbles. Throws Good it to Walker out. for three. Rebounded by Golden Bears, last touch by the Golden Bears will be out on them, Colonials ball. Checking into the game, number 31, Jason Paul, and number five, Kareem Breeden, exiting the game, number 24. That was a really Cheo Houston and. That was a really nice kick out by Naheem there. As I was saying, they need to work the ball into him so they can kick it out. As you can see, the whole defense collapsed to help out in the, on the post, and they had a wide open Matt Walker outside. Naheem also exited the game. Jason Paul free for a layup, it's good. That was too easy for the Colonials. Miscommunication on defense for the Golden Bears. Checking out is number 44, Jake Villanueva, into the game, number 23, Brent Brosman. Stone with the ball, drives to the basket, blocked by Matt Walker. Great defense by Matt Walker. Ahmad pushing the floor, gets it to his brother Amin, who pulls up. Missed, rebounded by Stone. It looked like the ball was like slipping when he caught it, but I think that he should have definitely taken that shot. He was wide open. He was open. Shouldn't Cole, have. guarded by Amin. Cole shifting through for a layup. Foul and one. Count the basket. It'll be 31 30 with a chance to make it 32 30. Colonial trail. They just dribble through their whole team. I think they just need to communicate and they need to really slide their feet. Now, Paul just looks straight up and I don't think he can do anything about Defensive that. Defensive communication is now an issue. Going to the line is Cole. Shooting one. And he makes it. Colonials trail by two. Amin Williams bringing the ball up. Amin to Ahmad. To Jason Paul from way downtown. Rebounded by Amin. Amin. Very nice offensive rebound by Amin. He is playing great so far this game. Fade away two from Amin. That's his 11th point. Stone gets by Paul. Drives all the way down. Foul and one again. It's a second foul. Shane Stone going to line for yet another three point play. He can put them up by three. It's Stone the line for one. And it's good. Colonials trail by three on back-to-back -back three point plays. Swinging the ball is the Colonials. Jason Paul dribbling wide open for three. No good, rebounded In by Ahmad Williams. Kicks to Breeden. Breeden hesitates. Gets it back to Ahmad. Ahmad for three. No good. Rebounded by Stone. Here come the Colonial. Excuse me, here come the Bears. Kick ball. Good defense by Kareem to cut off the cutter and make sure that he didn't score. Checking into the game number zero, Ishorn. Exit in the game number 31, Jason Paul. It appears. Inbounding the ball is that, Washington. Uh, Washington, pull up two. No good. Rebounded by Eshorn. Breeden. I mean, 
Amin drives all the way through. Layup is good. Really nice finish by Amin. That was a great move. Brosman has the ball. How is that pass just open to cut it from all the way back there over to the midcourt? They really need to focus on that. That's Their gotta spacing be a is not good. Cole dribbling the ball up top by himself. Me, keep him in front. Start and keep him in front. Colonials trail by one. Cole throws it away. It'll be Colonials possession. That was kind of a forced pass to the men on the post. They really need to, I think a bounce pass would have been more appropriate as he was kind of screening him off. Good defense by the Colonials. Amin Williams bringing the ball up. Amin to Ish. Ish to Kareem. Kareem back to Amin. Back to Ish. Ish dribbles around to Kareem. Pick set by Matt Walker. Driving the basket is Kareem. Two Good points. finish by Kareem with the right-handed finger roll. Kareem stolen by Amin. Amin has the ball. Timeout called by the Colonials. It'll be Colonials possession. Good hustle by both teams. That play was right in front of us. Amin lost the ball right there, and uh, I got a nice piece of Damian Washington on that one. Yes, you did, and that was a really nice hustle, and I really loved the aggression by Both the teams on that play, there were lots of aggression. Yeah, and that was a really good trap by the Colonials as they came in from behind and stole the ball, and they just trapped right before they got over half court. And I really like how their aggression starting to come out again like it was in the beginning of the first quarter. It is 36-35, the Colonials have retaken the lead. It'll be their ball right in front of us at midcourt. Um, the same five looks like they're coming out. There's just over two minutes remaining in this third quarter. They have slipped, they haven't let the lead slip a little bit in yeah. the third quarter. Now do you think that they should have put in anyone else instead of the people that are in right now? Uh, or do Kevin you like Tilgman it? hasn't played a minute, so you know, I think it's fair to say he, he deserves to get in, you know, whether it's, you know, 30 seconds or, you know, two minutes, he needs to get in and needs some playing time. I agree. And maybe if he comes in, he'll start playing really well and he could be a key difference for this team. It'll be inbounded by Matt Walker. Inbounded to Amin Williams. Has the ball, Williams to Ishhorn, to Kareem, hand it off to Williams. Williams to Ish, for three. No good in and out. Rebounded by Amin. Amin, foul. He'll be shooting two. Little ex bit of extracurricular activities after that one. That were not very necessary, I don't think, by both teams. Uh, it appears that Decker shoved Ishorn after that play. I don't think he should have, and I think Ishorn has all right to be upset. Which, and it's a good thing that uh, Amin's all right after he took a little extra time to get up on that play. But he'll good shot attempt as he drew the foul. I believe. Oh. I believe they were. It was a shooting foul. I thought it was too. All right, I think the refs overruled each other, changed their mind. It's just a on the on the floor foul. All right. All right. Ishhorn backing down his man, drives to the hole, throws it up, airballs it. Stolen by Ahmad. Ahmad places it in the hoop. Now Ish airballed that shot, which was not a good shot attempt. But if you didn't notice, he actually ran around and helped poke the ball out. So I like how after he missed, he didn't just like put his head down. Foul called. Looks like on number five, Kareem Breeden. No, fouls on Amin Williams. That's his third. He's the team's third. He stays a little cut down low on his fouls. He doesn't want to foul out and be like all scared of the fourth quarter that he's going to foul soon. Stone recovers the ball. Cole drives to the rack. Two is good. Easy layup. Bringing the ball up. Is Williams. Amin Williams with the ball, looking to create something on offense. 
Gets it. Fouled. And one. Count the basket. Three shot attempts by Ahmad. I really like how he drew the foul, pushed it off, and got the M1. Great finish. Entering the game number 11, Danny Cooper. Exiting the game number 23, Amin Williams. Basket's good. Foul's on number two. Looks like the referees are working out the score. It is correct. Number two. Uh, Casey Decker exiting the game after two quick fouls. That's his third. Ahmad Williams looking to convert the and one. Rebounded by Ish after the miss. Great rebound. Another one of my keys. Great offensive rebounding. Ish drives to the hole. Foul. On the floor, not shooting. Still, they're drawing all these fouls. They're going to eventually add up to the one and one bonus for the Colonials. And at the end of the game, it's coming down to the wire. It's really nice to be able to know that if they get fouled, they're going to get to shoot. Cooper with the ball. He checked in for Amin Williams. Walker with the ball, creating a little bit of space. That's all he needs. Looking for Breeden. Back to Cooper. Cooper fires for three. No good. A little too That'll long be a there. foul on Ishhorn. A little too long there, but it was really good ball movement. It was set up. It was definitely the right shot to take because they didn't really force it. They were calm and composed, and they got a wide open shot off of it. I think they'll start falling if they keep doing it. Inbounding the ball is Washington. Washington to Stone. Loses the ball. Ahmad Williams with the ball to Cooper. 27 seconds remain in the third quarter. Looks like it took them a couple extra seconds to communicate again as they're still having a little trouble. Now it's Horn. Horn to Walker for three. It's good! Matt great Walker shot by from Matt downtown. Walker. Great finish. He is playing great. Matt Walker hits his third three of the game. Stone drives all the way through. Looks to be a little argument between the players. Uh, that foul is on Ahmad Williams, his first team's fifth. Shane Stone at the line, looks like he's shooting two. I didn't know it was a shooting foul, but makes one. Didn't look like he was shooting on that foul. I guess they, they called continuation on that one like they do in uh, the NBA. That was a rule in high school. I thought it was only in the NBA, but. Makes one out of two. Eschhorn from half court almost. That was a pretty good shot attempt for they had a two seconds, they outletted the ball, and they got a decent shot. It wasn't the best, but I think that they st started to step it up, and I think they're going to come out aggressive and Really good this quarter. Uh, scores 43-38. Colonials lead by five. They've got five fouls. Want two more and they're in the bonus. They're not in the bonus. They uh, up and willing will be in the bonus. Did they play well in that third quarter? Yeah, they did. They uh, a couple of things they did really well. They rebounded exceptional on the offensive end and defensive end. Their spacing seemed to be much better. Their communication just doesn't seem to be right right now. Do you agree with that? Their spacing's got a lot better. Yeah, yeah. but their communication is kind of... Their communication is also... It's been off? Off, I think. Off, yeah, I think so too. I mean, um, it's starting to get better, but at the end, it's just it's it's coming in and out. Like, sometimes they're good, and then I saw down on the other end... It's inconsistent. Arguing. Exactly. Um, they started the third quarter really, really sloppy. They gave it away. They let up very easy threes. They kind of caught themselves in the middle and they recovered at the end. That's why they're leading by five now instead of trailing by three, which they were. They gave up two straight and ones, which was very tough. It was very hard for them to recover from that. They did. They're on right now an 11 to three run, which is a good, good sign for the Colonials. Yes, it is. Cooper has the ball. Up top. For three, Danny Cooper. It's no good, rebounded by Breeden. 
Come on, saying, another good offensive rebound. They're doing an exceptional job on offense boards. Really, really well. It's Ahmad. Drives to the hole. Layup is no good. Rebounded, rebounded by Ahmad. That was a good shot follow. As I say, when the shooter shoots, they know where it's going to go. If they miss it or not, I think he did a really good job. It had some play by him. Fouls on number 23, Brett Brosnan, his third, uh, team's fourth. Breeden to Walker for three. It's good! Matt Walker, he is a shooter the lights out He has a good last game. He is just playing exceptional from behind the arm. Walk! Walk! Don't Washington spy. inbounds walk, to don't Cole. Spy. Don't leave! Cole trapped by Breeden and Cooper. Throw cross court. Ishhorn fouls number 10. DeAndre, excuse me, Damian Washington. Checking into the game, number 23, I mean Williams, exiting the game, zero ish horn. That didn't really appear to be a foul. Look at the guy stopped and they just collided. I don't know if that should be a foul call, but it's kind of neutral. They call that on the defense. They're not gonna, that's not gonna be an offensive foul or a travel. They're gonna call that a defensive foul. But you can't really, can't so -so. argue with that. Cole, trapped to Washington, uh, to Cole. Villanueva drives, his layup's no good. Stone's attempt no good, rebounded by Walker. Good up play by me, me. Ahmad to Amin. Cooper drives, Ahmad for two, it's good. Good pass by Cooper and great shot by Ahmad. Timeout up for Moreland. The Cloners really have picked it up in the first minute and 20 seconds in this uh, end, beginning of the fourth, excuse me. Yes, they have. And I think the things that they're doing really well is they have a couple, maybe three or four offensive rebounds in just the first minute in this fourth quarter. And they've had some really great offensive rebounds all game. And I think that that's really contributing to their 10 point lead right now. Now, they came out. Their lead was kind of like cut. It was cut, yeah. And now it's back up to 10, which is a big, nice lead for them. And they continue to keep getting these offensive rebounds and playing really well. They're going to continue to keep this lead. If they play the way they have the first minute and 10 seconds of this fourth quarter, they're going to they're gonna push on. The, the lead is growing. They're playing solid defense. And bottom line, lower Moreland's not hitting their – upper Moreland, excuse me, is not hitting their shots. Yeah, Which is big, you know, if they're not hitting their shots, they're not scoring. That's that's kind of how exactly. it works. Exactly, and I think that the thing that they're doing a lot differently this quarter than they were last quarter, I said the rebounding, and also their shots attempts, they're really nice. Like, they're kicking it in, they're kicking it out, and they're kicking it back in, they're turning, facing, and they're shooting a nice jump shot from the foul line, and not taking corner threes that are contested and chucking up laps. And if they keep doing this and staying composed like they are now, and not going so wild, I, I think that they're going to continue to keep this lead. Yeah, the shot selection has definitely been on point in the beginning of this fourth quarter. But the game is still young, with six minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this game. Washington inbounds to Cole. Colonial's looking to press absolutely immediately. Washington has it. Looked at by Breeden, stolen by Breeden, drives to the hole. Lay layup is no good, read about by Amin. Two missed layups there, but they Matt Walker pulls up for two. It's good! You always count on Matt Walker to make a jump shot for you. Matt Walker will give you a clutch shot when you need it. It appeared to be two fouls, though, on the previous play that I think should have been called. Villanueva, cross court, Washington. Whoa! To three. Oh, he galloped! He galloped! Stone inside. Rebounded by Villanueva. Fades away. Rebounded yeah, by Walker. Me, me, me. Walker is really helping them out defensively and offensively right now. Cooper with the ball. To Amin. To Kareem. To Ahmad. To Matt Walker in the corner for three. In and out. Rebounded by Green. Drives to the hole. Blocked by Breeden. Not in his house. Emphatically rejected. Cooper to Amin. Through the... What oh. was that? He went all the way under the basket and around the top. I think he could have just went straight up. He might have gotten blocked, but if he initiated contact, I think there would have been a foul called. But I do really love the aggressive play that's going on right now by the Colonials.
Amin with the ball. How about that ferocious block by Breed? And he sent that thing all the way back to the three-point line. He basically pinned it on the backboard. Kind of reminded me of something LeBron does. Yeah, that was a chase down block, all right. Yes. Into the game, uh, Casey Decker. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Ahmad to Amin. Amin drives. Out to Matt Walker for three. Uh, rebounded by Washington. He needs to keep shooting. He's shooting really well, and if he just keeps shooting, I know they're going to go. Stone with the ball. Cole drives to Villanueva. Two points. That's their first basket of the fourth quarter. That was a really nice look into the lane right there. Really nice cut by Villanueva and a great finish, too. Easy two points for the Golden Bears. Cooper with the ball. Dribbling up top by himself with no pressure to Kareem. To Cooper, back to Breeden. Over to Cooper. Kareem with the ball at midcourt, bending over. It's Cooper, Villanueva guarding Cooper, an absolute mismatch. I think they need to give it back to Cooper. Oh. Breeden fouled by Decker. I think they should have given it back to Cooper, and Cooper could have just taken on Villanueva, as Cooper is a really quick, agile player. And I think he could have just went right by. Speaking of that, they just take out Villanueva because there's no big men in there. It's all guards for the Colonials, except for Matt Walker, who's a stretch four. Uh, into the game is Brett Brosman, who is a guard, and he will probably cover somebody his of his yeah. side. It's, it's a trap. Did not work. Breeden drives. Kicks it out to Cooper to Walker. Walker to Williams. Williams drives to the basket. Ball is tipped around. Ping pong. Williams pulls up for two. It's off. All right, they were moving the ball around there good. And they had to eventually shoot. I think that was a pretty good shot as he was pretty open for a nice, easy four or five foot shot. Ryan Cole dribbling a top, covered by Amin Williams. Cole. To Brosman. Stone. Stone drives. Decker for three. No good. Foul on the Colonials. It'll stay with Upper Moreland. Foul is on number five, Kareem Breeden. Now, do you think that the strategy for the up and more like Golden Bears or the Colonials would be to put in a big man so they would have a big mismatch, meaning if they put Nahim in, he could just post them up, or if they put in Villanueva in, he could post them up. If they put in a big man, on offense, there's a mismatch. But on defense, there's also a mismatch because you, you can't have guard on center at any point in time. Now, now do you think that benefits the offensive end or defensive end more? Uh, definitely the defensive end because there's always a, an offensive mismatch where somebody's either going to be free or have more space than they normally should. Yeah, I agree with that. Timeout called by the Colonials. I think they have one remaining. They lead by 10 with just over three minutes remaining in this game. Checking back into the game is number zero, Ishhorn, for number 11, Danny Cooper. Ishorn looking to get an, uh, another shot back into the game. Okay. Hasn't played as well today as other games. Yeah, they have a nice 10 point lead right now as we were talking about the lead was getting cut down. Now it's back up to 10. It's staying consistently 10 points and now their spacing is actually consistent. The beginning of the game was really inconsistent. Sometimes they were cl cluttered at the foul line. Sometimes when they were handing the ball off, there was like a miscommunication or cluttering. But now it's really consistent They're down. And I think that's really contributing to their good lead as well as the excellent shooting by Matt Walker and great lockdown defense. They had to keep up the way they've been playing this fourth quarter in the last three minutes of the quarter to hopefully win this game at home. It'll be Colonial's ball inbounded by Matt Walker with Breeden and Williams in the backcourt. As I said before, Horn checked back in the game for Danny Cooper. It'll be Amin Williams bringing the ball up. Breeden, Walker in the corner by himself. Back to Breeden. Fouled by Casey Decker. It'll be 
it'll be an inbound right in front of us. Walker to inbound. And no one's really in any foul trouble with only two, uh, three minutes left in the game. Nobody's really in foul trouble. The most is 3,000. Hopefully they don't get two quick ones. Ahmad, Amin, Walker, Ahmad, trapped, Amin. Some good skip passes on display there. Amin loses the ball, fouled by number 12. They'll call a technical foul on Ishhorn. Ish decided to throw it down there and he got a technical foul. The fans like that, but I don't think Coach D will like that or the scoreboard. I don't it. think Coach D is that upset because it was continuation of the play. The student section certainly didn't agree with it. I don't, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it either. I mean, it was, uh, the whistle was blown a second before, and he just dunked it, continuing the play. I think you have to really play through the whistle a, a little bit after. I, they called a continuation play over there where there was a foul before the shot, he put it up and scored an M1. And now when they blow the whistle, he dunks it, he gets a technical foul. I really don't think that's unfair. Bro, bro. Checking out of the game as this horn into the game is Danny Cooper. Uh, mean Williams will be shooting one and one. So if he misses the first one, he doesn't get to shoot again. So if he makes the first one, he does. So he only he doesn't get to shoot again. And now the technical foul foul shots are going to be shot. Am I correct? That that is what's happening now. So the the one and one was shot on the foul by twelve. The now Upper Moreland will shoot them. It'll be Ryan Cole. This is his first. The fans are starting to make some noise for the first time tonight. Because they didn't agree with the call, so they're, they're speaking their mind. Yes, as they should, as we don't agree with it either. We can just speak through here, they're gonna speak with them cheering really loudly. Makes one out of two. It'll be Upper Moreland ball. Colonials lead by nine with two minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Kareem, Kareem, lock I think the Colonials need to forget about that play and just keep playing like they were. No, no win if they did. Decker to Cole. To Cooper. Cooper is guarding Cole, excuse me. Decker with the ball. Washington, spot up. Rebounded by Amin. Amin pushing the floor, loses the ball. Washington, spot up. Three ball. That was not a good shot attempt, though. He, he was in the corner fading away. He should have passed it off. Amin Williams with the ball. Cooper has it. Back to Amin. To Ahmad. Kareem. To Ahmad. To Danny. Inside. Really nice outside. ball. Outside. I like how they're splitting the guards at the top. So they can just swing. Comes around. Ahmad down the middle. Walker. Not looking to shoot. Inside to Cooper. To Amin. Some really nice ball movement. Really swinging the ball around and communicating really well. Cooper. It'll be one and one. Cooper will be shooting. I don't know if you heard, but the Upper Moreland coach said foul for about 25 seconds and nobody fouled. He didn't. If the game comes down to a point or a couple, hopefully it doesn't for the colonial sake. But if it does, then those 25 seconds could be a really big impact and big difference on the game. Hopefully Cooper makes his first, and he'll get another. Cooper makes one, gets another. Cooper is a great shooter from he the free throw really line. At it also, and I think it paid off. His second free throw is good. Colonials lead by 11 with a minute and 37 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Two for two there. Cross court to Decker. Decker has it. Decker guarded by Amin to Cole. Job, also guarded by Amin. Breeden. Three one in his defense. second block. Three one in his second block there as earlier in the game he had a nice big block. Just like that. The same kind of play. 30 second timeout called by Upper Moreland. Uh, that is their last timeout. There's a minute and 24 seconds remaining in this game. They lead, Colonels lead by nine. What do they need to do to finish this game out? They need to close out with aggressive defense. They need to keep communicating, swinging the ball around. They're gonna try and foul right away. 
They need to give the ball to a shooter who's going to make both those foul shots. Do you agree? Danny Cooper made his last two foul shots, so look to get the ball into him. As soon as he gets it, they'll probably foul. As soon as anybody gets it, they'll probably foul. Now, a new rule implemented in you know most of basketball is the hack a shack rule. If you foul somebody without the ball in an inbounds play, it's two shots in the ball. So you won't see anybody touching anybody until see before this they until Matt Walker has off, the ball off the ball exactly, and then the worst foul shooter can shoot. Green looked at Amin has it. He, he is not fouled. They actually try not trap. fouled. Risky Cooper pass. has it. Fouled. Almost made that shot. That also could have been delay a game the way these refs are going. Um, it'll be a foul on Ryan Cole. I actually heard the ref say something to Danny Cooper after that last time where he tried to shoot the three, and he, I heard him say that wasn't necessary, was it? So I don't think they need to make any stupid mistakes. I think they need to finish out the game right now. Yeah, but that most certainly doesn't count as a delay a game if he is trying to get fouled in the act of shooting. Exactly. Makes his first one, gets another. And I like how he's being aggressive by doing that, trying to get the extra shots. Cooper makes all of them. Really nice from the foul line tonight. I think he's uh, four for four. Colonial's still pressing. Washington dribbles across court to Cole. Cole dribbling through. Decker. No switching means. We're not switching. Stone inside. Puts the dream shake on. Nice finish. There's a minute left now, and they need to close out this game. That was their last full timeout and their last 30-second timeout. They're now out of timeouts with a minute and one second remaining. And uh, I think they're going to keep in the same people. Both teams will keep the same people in because they're playing matchup games right now, now. If you're the other team. What are you trying to do here? Are you trying to get a quick two or a three? Like, what are you trying to do? What's going through your mind? If I'm the Colonials or am I Upper Moreland? If you're Upper Moreland. If I'm Upper Moreland, I'm trying to, as soon as somebody touches the ball, you got to foul them. Then you got, I, I don't know if a quick two at this point does you any good. It only puts you down by seven. You still need seven, which is two, two threes or two twos and a three. Uh, I think you need to shoot as many threes and make hopefully make them in the least amount of time. I agree with that, and I also think now, do you think the Colonials are going to just try and give it to Coop and let or Cooper and hold the ball and get him fouled? Or do you think they're going to try and pass it out of the foul so time runs up the clock? Everybody out there can shoot free throws, so it doesn't matter who gets the ball. Um, it's a matter for Upper Moreland of how much time goes off the clock. The Colonials' first priority is to have the clock hit zero. If once it hits zero, uh, uh, the you know, that's that's their end goal right now, is for the clock to hit zero. They need to waste as much time as possible. Yes, and there's 61 seconds left in this game, so. The ref signals is allowed to move, I guess. Inbounded to Cooper, Swing to Walker, Swing. to Cooper, Again. Cooper Hard to Vlad, to Amin. Amin drives. Two is good. Good finish. Now they do try and swing the ball, not hold it and wait to be fouled, though, which is good. Stone. Dribbles all the way through. That for was a, a risky shot attempt. How many times are they going to get to do this? How many times? Looks and like it's another a, uh, another miscommunication. Miscommunication. The, uh, coach of the Golden Bears and the ref. During the same ref, Kareem decided not to finish that play. Good thing he. Good thing he didn't dunk it, or he might have also got the technical foul. And that is not what the Colonials need at this point in the game. Uh, Coach D'Onofrio not taking uh, likeness to uh, the referee who has been clearly not listening to the, the Upper Moreland coach and just calling timeouts whenever he wants. And actually, a, a rule is that if you call a timeout when you don't have one, it's actually a technical foul, meaning the other team will get two, two shots in the ball. So if he calls a timeout when he doesn't have one, that's actually a technical foul. It is a technical foul. And the most famous incident of that is Chris Weber in the Final Four calling timeout against North Carolina when they didn't have any. Exactly. Is that detrimental know. to the game? It'll be colonial ball, I guess. I, ref just put his arm up. I don't know what that means. I don't think All the right, ref I guess it'll be, oh. I don't know what they call it. This is Golden Bears ball. Maybe 
Cardinals right. were on the line. I guess it was out of bounds or something. Yeah. But this game looks pretty out of reach for the. It is out of reach at this point. point. Cole drives. Oh. It looks like they're going to foul. Blocking foul. Hopefully everyone's all right over there in the stands. As, uh, I believe that's uh, Decker's fifth. It's his fourth, excuse me. Shooting two will be Amin Williams. Coach D is not very happy with the referees this game, as there's been a couple instances where they have made some not so good calls. The technical foul on Ish, the other coach calling some timeouts that they didn't Weren't have. Weren't timeouts? Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. Colonials uh, made one, I mean, made one out of two free throws. And I like coach how, D still pressing. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I like how they're still pressing to keep the pressure on. Good, Walker. I, I think that's a rebound shot, but they really just need to put up shots at this point. The game's pretty out of reach for the Golden Bears at this point. As there's Fade away. Six seconds left and Relax. ten Relax. seconds left. And that'll be the end of this one. The Colonials win at home against Upper Moreland with a score of 59-49. Great game. Matt Walker played outstanding. Excellent game by him. Amin played very well. And just great defensive. Uh, I'm going to ask you, who is your player of the game tonight? My player of the game is Matt Walker, as he made a good amount of shots, a good amount of three-pointers, and he just really played great on defense. And I can notice him grabbing some offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds. That really just helps him out. And I just think he's a really momentum shifter, as the whole team loves it when he makes threes. The fans love it, and I just think he did a great job tonight. Who's your key player? Uh, I agree with you. Matt Walker is our CITV player of the game. He definitely played well on both ends of the floor. And I think his continual senior presence will be key for the Colonials going forward. That was a great win. Great way to close out the game as they started off not so good, and they closed it out really strong. Thank you for tuning in to this CITV broadcast. For Lenny Brenner, I'm Stephen O'Malley. Until next time, have a good night and be well.